Hey, what's up all my Libras? You have reached my channel, Royal Revelations, and I am BJ Royal Archie guys. So I'm coming to you guys today with a Top Tip Tuesday reading, okay? So this is for anybody with Libra placements. Well, well, we're coming to you today. So this is for anybody with Libra placements in their chart. I'll tell everybody, tarot card readings are like advice. You take it or you leave it. Either way, that's fine with me. May not be a message for you, but it's definitely a message for somebody, okay? Any cards I use, any um, information about personal readings is going to be listed in the description box below. So first, we're going to get started with the Black Moon Astrology. We're going to get some placements. We're focused on Toxic Tuesday. However, we're not chiming on one particular subject. So it's whatever coming out that you need to heal from, okay? So Toxic Tuesdays are about healing. All right, you guys. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with my Libras, okay? Virgo had a very interesting reading, so... If you have that energy in your chart, definitely go check it out. Libra, I love it. You coming out first. I feel like you're the only sign that has done that thus far. Like, ugh, popping out. I'm here. What's up? Uh, you have Venus. Love. So, Libra, I balance. Venus, love. Leo, I will. Give me one more. Oh, South No, life's dead. Okay, and what's at the bottom? Aquarius, I know. So definitely go check out that Virgo reading. All right, so somebody's Sun, Venus, South Node, or Saturn could be in Libra, Leo, or Aquarius. Or you could be dealing with any of these signs. But this could be their place. I feel like now is the time for you to balance your love life. Anything toxic dealing with your love life, it has to go. I'm hearing a uh, little Beyonce to the left, to the left. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Everything you own in the box to the left. In the closet, that's my stuff. Yes. If I fall, please don't touch. Okay. Managing goals. Mm, yeah, so I see you guys are focused. Focus. On yourself on your goals you're trying to make this shit add up okay i feel like you guys are like you're like okay if i do this if i got this much money and i put this together at this time then look 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 how you, I, I hear exponential growth but you gotta focus what's venus love uh wisdom I don't know why all these songs was playing in my head, but I, it was, did that come out? They got nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you. Who's that? Uh, what is his name? I want to say Black Rob, but this is not whoa. Um, uh, I think of it. I put it in the. I put it in the link. Let's. What's Leo? I will. Okay, criticism. And then you have health. This has been a main card coming out today, and I'm shuffling. Then you have self-expectation here at the bottom. So let's see what's, what y'all got going on. Um, I think that you have learned the lessons that you needed to learn. But I feel like there's something that keeps... taking you back to your past or your past keeps presenting itself in the future. What's uh, Libra? I balance and managing goals. Wars and battles. So I'm hearing pick your battles or choose your battles wisely. Because everything isn't a battle. Everything isn't a war. What did I hear? I, we might have lost the battle, but we won the war. Mm. So, okay. So, there maybe have something that, where you felt defeated. But you had to, like, get your face back. You have Asia here. So, I feel like you guys are working on your spirituality. But I feel like maybe you guys are working on meditating. Um, clearing your mind out because I feel like you might have a lot of things in your mind that you're trying to organize right now. What's criticism? 
wisdom. Interesting. Twice. A wise man knows nothing. I was so proud of my son. He's a cancer. You guys dealing with a cancer. Before I could get it out of my mouth the other day. That's why I tell him, I was like, you don't know everything. A wise man. I know a wise man knows nothing. So, I was so proud of him. I, I felt good to know that he's retaining um, the things that I'm, the sayings and the things that I'm teaching him. So, maybe you are retaining something that you, you learned. Finally are retaining it. Right, and you're using it to the best of your ability with South Node and health ships, and then you have authority figures at the bottom. So, definitely the justice system. I don't know why I feel like you guys got a ticket here with this ship, somebody might have been going too fast, so maybe that's something that you. Stay out of trouble, Libras, for one. Stay out of trouble. So what's uh, Libra, I balance managing goals, wars, and battles. The nine of swords is in reverse. So something maybe that you have, um, you were battling with, maybe is... You're going to get out of it here, the four wands here. You don't have to worry about it no more. I don't feel like you're scot free, you're scot clean. Um, because I do feel like you may have been you made some type of ruckus or you, you did fight in a sense. So, but for others of you. I felt like you pick and chose your battles, but this is still kind of lingering on. Yeah, the Seven of Cups is here. I feel like you guys are trying to figure out, like, why are certain things happening to you with these wars and battles? I feel like they're random as hell. You're like, man, why am I dealing with this? Why am I dealing with this? You have the Five of Wands. It's like constant shit going on. <laughs> You're like, why? Okay. Okay. Wow. Ooh, the shadow in reverse. I'm hearing dark times. I feel like shit coming from the left and the right. I'm not going to lie. I feel like you guys feel like shit is unfair here with this I balance energy, Libra. You're like, why me? The Libra don't go through this. I'm the Libra. I'm Libra. Y'all can be cocky sometimes. So maybe that's an issue. Maybe being humble. You have the two of wands in reverse. Ten of swords in reverse. So something is not going away that easy. So I feel like you definitely need to take care of something because it's just not going to go away. So maybe you guys are thinking it's just going to balance out on its own, but you really have to put work into it. So as far as toxicity, though, this could be a behavior, a personal behavior or something that you personally need to let go. Maybe also managing what you say, your communication as well. What's Venus, Wisdom, and Asia? Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody's name could be Asia. I'm hearing all the continents, North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica. So I feel like maybe you guys are trying to travel as well. Or, let me say this. I do feel like some of you guys are traveling with the ship's energy. Um, but maybe knowing when to travel or being safe while traveling. I feel like somebody leaves you hanging. Eight of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're supposed to be going somewhere or doing something with somebody, but they don't let you leave or you can't leave because you're waiting on them. Because with this Asia card, I'm kind of getting a Four Swords energy. But it's like you're waiting, waiting. I feel like, but in the back of your mind, you know, or this person stood you up and they'll stand you up again. The best way to predict somebody's behavior is to analyze their past behavior. Five of Cups, and this 
it makes you sad and pisses you off at the same time because I feel like you know this person is lying to you. Ace of Swords. This Ace and the Six together is giving me Seven of Swords in reverse energy. This person, it's like they constantly, they're always, always, always doing something. Give me one more. The Five of Swords in reverse. Wow. But I feel like you're getting hip to it. So you're like, you know what, never mind. I'll pick somebody else. I'll find somebody else. I'm not going to let you ruin my moment. I feel like you may be doing something solo. The cherry in reverse. Uh, okay, I feel like some of you guys, something might happen with your car. Or your travel plans might be delayed. But I feel like you still get to go. I feel like the reason why it's being delayed is so you can miss some type of storm or you can miss some type of accident. So just understand that these delays are happening for a reason. Yeah, the Ace of Swords is here in reverse. I feel like somebody is just... Somebody cuts deep this time. Out of nowhere. Because somebody is acting like, oh, yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. You're not going to have to worry about nothing. Blah, 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 blah. And then they kind of just stab you in the back. I don't know. I feel like you don't see it coming or something. Arr, but you should have because this person is the same person. Yeah, the sun is in reverse. So this time, maybe you just can't deny it. Right. Divine intervention, justice is here. You just, you can't deny it. You have to see things for what they are worth. What is Leo criticism and wisdom? So, okay, this is the, I can't remember who it was, but I did get this combination earlier. You have the world and then you have the will of fortune. That's 21 and 10, that's 31, 4. So I'm getting, this could be Emperor Energy of Aries. Then you have the Hermit in reverse. This person could be a Leo Virgo Cusper or you could be a Virgo Libra Cusper. But I do feel like with this combination of cards, with the world here and the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands, okay. And the three of cups. Okay, so I feel like as one cycle ends, another one begins almost simultaneously. It's like somebody is waiting on you, or you bump into this knight of wands that came out. Like you bump into them. Literally, look. Maybe you're not paying attention to what you're doing. You're just playing around. Bam, you just run into this Knight of Wands. Could be a Leo. I feel like maybe you guys get together. You have some drinks. And you could just fall for this person kind of fast. So, again, be wise. Because I feel like maybe you have a certain type. Let your wisdom kick in. Maybe you don't want to start something too fast. Being that you just finished something else. So maybe, again, some self-limiting behaviors that's hindering you from actually moving forward to your fullest potential. What's South Mode? South Node? I was saying South Mode. So, um, or Mood. So you have Light. It came out flipped up right Eight of Swords in reverse and the judgment. Okay, so I feel like now is the time to not get yourself into certain positions. Now is the time to put your plan in motion to get yourself out of 
certain positions you see the light i feel like there is some type of light shining on you so you might get like some type of blessing from god it's like finally your turn to get this blessing so now it's kind of like yeah nine of cups so now that i yeah things are balanced i love that energy so it's kind of like it's it's you but it's a different version of you being that it's the temperance right it's still giving me that um the scales the balance energy right so i feel like you do eventually get back to normal and things like i feel like you pay your life's debts and you're able to move forward but it's it's a test i feel like they may give you enough knight of coins in reverse they may give you just enough for you to move forward here with the lovers but i feel like it's a test because they kind of want to see if you're going to repeat the same behaviors that you did three of wands in reverse the past or are you going to move forward as the queen of wands six of wands yeah so they don't want you to fail i mean nine of coins in reverse i feel like the reason why they're like holding your money or doing something right now is because they want you to focus on changing some past behaviors. And once you do that, I feel like it's like a floodgate. They just release it open. So that way you have that continuous uh, flow. But you had to learn a life, a hard lesson here with the Saturn energy here. All right, you guys, so let's get your Oracle really quickly. So today I'm gonna use Love Your Inner Goddess. I normally don't use this deck on the channel. But today we are because that's the Oracle deck that I have. Bright Destiny. Yes. 14 Temperance Energy. So you guys might have Sagittarius in your chart. And what's at the bottom? Tribe of the Kindred. I carry your heart. I carry it in mine. So maybe some friends or a true family member or something. What does this say around here? Bright Destiny. It says, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, you bloom into a butterfly. It became a butterfly. That is beautiful. Number 14. It says, it's okay to feel unclear or even confused about what is happening in your life or within you at this time. It's like that because you are going through soul growth. Things will become clear in time. For now, however, let the process happen. Fear can make us try to force something that isn't quite ready yet. Don't try to impose a meaning. Take action or understand it all prematurely. Don't think too hard. When it is time for you to act, you'll know it. It's okay to relax and trust that the moment of clarity will come when the time is right. Well, that's what I was feeling, right? I definitely was feeling that energy. So, especially when it comes to your love life, not rushing into things, letting things kind of take its flow. Okay? All right, you guys. So, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, you already know. I appreciate it. So, until next time, y'all already know what it is. Holla at the play. We see me street code. Bye.